Dad is for Duha. Duha means the full noon, that time of day after the sun has risen in the bright mid-morning hours, before it gets too hot. The Prophet ﷺ used to offer special prayers at this time. Surah ad duha is also the name of a chapter of the Qur'an. Some say it was the third one to be revealed by Allah Almighty to the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ. This surah came after a long gap during which he received no revelation at all. This was a worrying time for the Prophet ﷺ and he probably felt very sad and lonely. Not many people had accepted Allah's message at that time of his mission and those who didn't believe in him in it were pleased to see him receiving no guidance. They made cruel jokes and mocked him. The wife of Abu Lahab, he was the uncle and enemy of our Prophet ﷺ, told him, I think your Satan has left you. So Surah ad duha arrived like glorious sunshine after a cold dark night in it. Allah Almighty tells Muhammad ﷺ that he has not left him and promises that things will be better in the future. Now let's look at Surah ad duha from verses 1 to 11. In the name of Allah, the supremely merciful, the most kind, by the glorious morning light and by the night when it is still, thy Lord has not forsaken you, nor is he displeased. And verily the hereafter will be better for you than the present. And soon will your Lord give you all good, then you shall be well pleased. Did he not find you an orphan and give you shelter and care? And he found you wandering and he gave you guidance. And he found you in need and made you independent. Therefore treat not the orphan with harshness, nor repulse the one who asks, but the bounty of your Lord, rehearse and proclaim. Ta is for tariq. Tariq is the Arabic word for a road or a pathway. If a person wanted to go somewhere, he will usually try to find the best way to get there. He will look for a way with the least turnings and a few, as, as few ups and downs as possible. People can easily get lost if they don't know the way. And that's what happens on the road of life. Many people think that they can guide themselves to happiness. They make up their own rules about life and even make up their own religions. These people go far astray. Allah the Almighty has shown us the straight path to reach the garden of peace and happiness. And he has warned us not to get lost. He has sent us messengers whom we can trust. If we follow them, then we will surely be guided right. But if we listen to the wrong kind of people, they will mislead us. And at the end of life's journey, we would be very sorry indeed. We must also be very careful to follow the signs which guide us on the road. Sometimes in life, Allah commands us to stop and what we're doing because we have to pray and remember him. So too, when we see the signs on the highway that says stop, we must beware in case of danger. When we see a road sign showing a picture of two old people, we must go slow and be careful. Allah the Almighty has commanded us to look after our parents. Do we look after them as we should? Are we kind to them? Or do we rush past them, knocking sometimes, even knocking them over? Allah forbid. Signs are there to guide us on the road. If we read the book of Allah, it is full of signs showing us exactly the right way to go in true life. Let's turn to Surah An-Nisa from verses 167 to 169. Those who reject faith and keep people off from the way of Allah have verily strayed far, far away from the path. Those who reject faith and go wrong, Allah will not forgive them nor guide them to any way, except the way of hell, to stay therein forever and this to Allah is easy. Za is for Zil. Zil means a shadow in Arabic. Shadows are made when light shines on one side of an object and creating a space of darkness behind it. Shadows give movement and life to everything, even things like mountains, houses and trees bow down to Allah Almighty. As the shadows move from right to left, morning and evening, they humbly join the creation in glorifying their Lord and Sustainer, praising Allah the Most High, as they all pray straight in line together. Shadows are one of the signs of Allah to make us think and be grateful. When it's a very hot day, we look for a shady place to escape from the sun's burning heat. This usually happens at Zohar midday, when the sun is high above our heads and the shadows are smallest. As the day passes by, shadows get longer, stretching out more and more as the afternoon unfolds, making everything cooler and comfortable. If there were no shadows, 
think how difficult life would be. Sunbeams would bounce everywhere. You would have to close the windows and stay indoors until the sun went down. Then it would be too dark to go out and do anything. Umbrellas wouldn't give shade and people would have to wear lots of tight clothes to avoid getting burnt. Everywhere would be similar. Cold countries would become hotter because they would no longer be in the distant shadows of the sun. We thank Allah for the mercy of shadows and pray to be under the shade of his throne on the day of judgment when there will be no other shade. Let's have a look at Surah Anna from verses 48 to 49. Have they not observed all things that Allah has created, how the shadows incline to the right and left, making prostration to Allah in humility? To Allah prostrates everything that is in the heavens and every creature crawling on the earth, and the angels, and they are not proud. Ain is for ilm. Ilm is the Arabic word for knowledge. It is a duty on all Muslims to educate themselves so that they may gain knowledge. The first word revealed to the Prophet Muhammad was read. Reading is one of the best ways to gain knowledge. We read in the Quran that in the beginning when the first man Adam was created, God blew off his spirit into him and gave him senses. Then the first thing that he was taught was to know the names of all things. The angels were then ordered by Allah to bow down before Adam. This means that if understood correctly, knowledge raises a human being to a higher position than other creatures of creation. Because of knowledge, man can gain wisdom, and that is one of the greatest gifts a person can have. Wisdom gives you the ability to know from right from wrong. It is like a light which allows you to see in the darkness when people are lost in ignorance and going astray. The person with knowledge becomes a beacon of light. He shines out amongst the rest and shows them the way to safety. Another word for ilm is science. Today there are many scientists spending a lifetime learning about the way the world works. Looking into space and into microscopes, making new things, new models of travel, new ways to communicate and speak to each other, computers, TV. But unfortunately much of this type of knowledge is without guidance. It does not necessarily tell you what is good or bad. Some scientists are really quite silly. For example, a number of scientists think that ch monkeys and chimpanzees have two arms, two legs and a small brain, that they must be another type of humankind. They make up all sorts of stories and draw pictures to make people believe what they say. They don't seem to know that all human beings belong to one special family. All of us are the children of Adam, and the angels would never bow down to a monkey, Allah forbid. That shows you that unless you have wisdom, you may not be able to judge what is right or wrong, what is true or false. This is the best knowledge which was given to the Prophet It's the heart of a Muslim through the guidance of Islam That makes you fair and kind and helpful to your fellow men So living as a Muslim means that you must play a part Allah looks not at how you look, but what is in your heart